Hi, welcome. My name is Sam Gabriel, and I'm excited to share with you a new feature that I have in our Tech and Aid Academy, and that is playgrounds. I should say free DevOps playgrounds that you can uh, learn hands on labs and do whatever you really you want to do in these uh, labs or in these playgrounds. These playgrounds will also be available in all my courses so you can have a development environment you can run with. You don't have to uh, use your own computer and set up you know, the environment in your own computer. You can just leverage the online cloud uh, playground to do that. So why don't we get started and take a look at these new playgrounds. So when you sign up on the Tech and Aid Academy site and uh, first thing you're going to be greeted with the products that you have or enrolled in. So you can go to all products at the top here. That will show up, show all the other products that are available in the Academy. And under bundles, you're going to find the DevOps Playgrounds and you can see it's free, the cost is free. So you click on it and this will show you the uh, content of this bundle. So we have three playgrounds as of now. Uh, we have a Terraform and Vault playground, we've got a Docker playground, and we've got a Kubernetes playground. So what happens is you can do this two ways. You can click on the Get the Playgrounds uh, button. This will automatically enroll you in the playground. Uh, you can also click the Enroll Now. As you can see, it's free here, so it will take you uh, directly to uh, this page where it just thanks you for enrolling and you can go directly to the playground and now you'll find that under my products here which is this page we now have the all the three playgrounds that we have uh, just enrolled in basically and when I add new playgrounds you will automatically see new playgrounds show up here you don't need to do anything uh, anymore since you've already enrolled into the entire bundle so let's take a look and see what this looks like. If you click on the Terraform and Vault uh, Playground, here you can see the playground instructions. So we can click here and uh, a couple of things to look at here, but really quickly I'll show you. To launch a playground, you just need to click this button. And this really leverages a product called Gitpod. And Gitpod is really cool because it allows you to open up any uh, repository, whether in GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket, and open up an, a development environment inside that repo. Uh, it will open a Visual Studio Code window in your browser, uh, which is really, really neat. So you would have to, if this is your first time, you'd have to uh, sign up with uh, GitHub, GitLab, or what have you. In my case, I'm going to continue with GitLab. And you just enter your username and password. Okay, go ahead and fill that out and click sign in. And this will take uh, maybe 30 seconds or so, depending on the lab and depending what uh, we're launching. Uh, so you can see actually it's creating a container image. And the way Gitpod works, it works by building a Docker container that contains the specific dependencies that we're interested in working with. In this case, we're interested in the Terraform binary, the Vault binary. So we're gonna have those uh, ready to go. And I also have a development Vault server that's going to uh, spin up as well. And if you notice quickly, there's a pop-up at the top here that, uh, that got uh, created, yeah, but it's blocked, so um, you can quickly click on the link here that will open uh, a vault UI for us and uh, if I go back and take a look here and just close these uh, you can see three terminals I can make this a little bit uh, bigger for us to see but basically it's a Visual Studio Code uh, terminal or window so I have uh, a readme here that you can take a look at and you see the different um, binaries that I have installed. We've got uh, Vault, we've got Terraform, 
uh, Docker, got the AWS CLI, a bunch of programming languages here as well. Uh, the recommended courses that you can use or uh, work with, Terraform 101 and Vault 101 with this particular playground. Uh, and I got uh, three terminals already created for us right away. I got a Vault Server terminal that has the Vault Server already running. As you can see, the root token, the unsealed key right here, this is running a Vault Server in dev mode. I have a Vault client. Uh, you can see the Vault version right here automatically creates that for us. I got a Terraform uh, also terminal that you can use. But of course, you can add more terminals as you wish, as you're used to in a regular Visual Studio uh, code environment. You can also uh, run or click the Git pod green button at the bottom and open um, open this environment in your own VS Code. So you can open this in Visual Studio Code that is already installed in your computer, on your computer, and this will run Visual Studio Code with the particular repo that we're in and will open basically a remote SSH session into that um, Docker container that we were talking about. So if you prefer to do that, uh, you can you can definitely do that. It's up to you. However, I find that the browser works very well and uh, and we can go from there. So that is an option. This will take a you know a couple seconds to load. So we can go back and look at our window here. Now a couple of things to note. Uh, once this launches, this is called the workspace inside of Gitpod. So you can click here the green button and go to stop this workspace or you can open settings here. So when you open the settings window, you'll see your account, you'll see notifications, plans. So uh, by default, when you, when you uh, subscribe to Gitpod, you're dropped in the free plan, which is uh, pretty generous, 50 hours. You get up to four parallel workspaces that you can be running at the same time with a 30 minute inactive timeout. So if you don't use uh, your computer or that particular workspace for 30 minutes is going to time out. You can go back and relaunch that workspace and, and continue where you left off. Um, and then there are other plans if you're interested in that. You can see I'm, I have about 14 hours remaining. I've been heavily testing it, uh, so that's why you can see that. Uh, you can also take a look at the integrations here and uh, make sure you integrate to the different providers. I've uh, added GitLab and GitHub. Uh, you can see the different permissions that I gave here to be able to work with uh, with Gitpod. So that uh, that I wanted to show you. The other piece is workspaces at the top. You can see the different workspaces that I have running here. This is uh, with a green button here means it's running. This uh, gray dot means it's stopped. And there are some inactive workspaces as well. So you can delete these workspaces. You can see if there's a workspace with a change or an untracked file. Uh, but you know when when you're launching these different labs that I built for you, you can or work playgrounds that I built for you, you can go ahead and uh, go back and launch a workspace that uh, that you haven't used in a while by writing open and uh, and go from there. You can typically also just go straight to Gitpod and look at the different playgrounds that you have from here as opposed to going into um, back in here and looking at all the products inside of or my products inside of the Tech and Aid um, Academy. So I wanted to show you that and I also wanted to show you one last thing when you're running inside of your playground notice that there is a ports tab here so if you click on the ports tab you'll notice the different uh, ports that are automatically exposed when we ran the, uh, the the server when we initialized the workspace so we got port 8200 which is the port that vault listens on 8201 is between uh, members of a cluster so you can see that i've already made this public for you so you can click on this link and this will open the UI that we saw in the very beginning. So if you forget to look at the uh, pop-up button that, that uh, showed up here in the browser to, to launch uh, Vault, you can do it from here. Um, if you 
if you go to the terminal and stop the vault server like that and let's say you run it again that will automatically open the the browser for you with that port and um, like if I stop this you go to ports you'll see that the ports section is, is now not running nothing is running so it automatically senses that there is a service running on a particular port and will uh, will, will expose these ports uh, as you can see here so it's a very handy feature um, and you can of course create a public like you make it public or make it private um, with these locks here so that's a quick uh, overview of the new feature that we have now with um, uh, playgrounds uh, i hope you enjoy it i hope you test it and work with it and let me know if you have any questions if you have any suggestions and feedback uh, in the comments uh, to this video and also if you like this video please like and subscribe and I will see you in another video.